Today I want to talk about some of my wireless microphone technology. Here is my Samson U1 wireless lav kit. This is my Kemafun KMG102-3 wireless lav and headset kit. Here's my Kemafun KMG206B wireless kit. And this is a Tonor K380T wireless kit. What the? That's a toy! Yes, the Supreme FM wireless microphone is a toy, but that does not mean this video is targeted at children. I'm going to talk about the cultural significance of technology like this, as well as dig into how well it works. So, you hear me YouTube? You hear me FTC? Not a COPPA violation. The first mass marketed microphone that micro broadcast in the FM spectrum was called Mr. Microphone. Some sources say this product came out in 1978, others say 1979, but either way, I remember seeing the commercial for it as a child and thinking this looked like a pretty cool product. Let's watch some of this commercial. Broadcast over any FM car radio. Hey, good looking, we'll be back to pick you up later. Professional entertainers use Mr. Microphone for rehearsing. I seriously doubt that. Professional entertainers would use professional equipment, but this is a Ronco ad after all. And for only $12.88, they really make great Christmas gifts. In 1992, The Simpsons parodied this product in the episode Radio Bart. Here's a couple of quick scenes from it. Throw away your bulky transmitters and broadcasting towers. The Superstar Celebrity Microphone lets you hear your voice through any AM radio. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. <laughs> In this episode, Bart Simpson pranks other characters on The Simpsons using a device like this. Now, technology patents run out after 20 years, so it was inevitable for knockoff devices like this Supreme FM wireless microphone would eventually show up on the market. Let's unblister pack this thing. With packaging like this, it's easier to use scissors than a knife. Here's the microphone. The foam windscreen came off. There's a screw on the battery compartment. I can't decide if I like that or not. It runs on two AA batteries. Anyone who's used one of these low-powered FM transmission devices knows that you have to keep it close to the radio in order for them to work. And even then, they're prone to interference. Turn on your windshield wiper while you're using one of these in the car and you will discover that the windshield wiper emits radio frequencies. In fact, the motor on pretty much any device will cause interference. Washers, dryers, drills, fans, etc. Also, signals from actual FM radio towers can outcompete the micro broadcasts emitting from these. That's why they are adjustable to different frequencies. However, this device does not have adjustable frequencies. It's locked into a single frequency that's related to the length of this whip antenna. And this is also prone to interference. I discovered that while I was setting it up. I've successfully gotten this mic tuned in both on the Grundig radio here and on this Kenwood tuner. Now the instructions say that I should tune to 100 megahertz. It was actually between 101.5 and 101.6. You have to turn the knob until you find it. Okay, I want to demonstrate one of the biggest issues with one of these FM transmitting microphones. feedback. On a professional PA system, speakers and microphones are positioned in a manner that minimizes feedback. This is not the case with your home and car stereo. If a speaker you're using is pointed toward a microphone being amplified, you will get feedback. This can be minimized using a microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern that is pointed away from a speaker. 
I'm curious about the pickup pattern on this microphone. So instead of using this hooked up to a radio as an amplifier, I'm gonna hook this up using it as a wireless microphone. Here's an adapter for this XLR cable. I'm now gonna plug this mini plug from the earphone jack on this radio into the audio input on my camera. Mic test. You're now listening to me through this Supreme FM wireless microphone that's transmitting to my Grundig radio that's hooked up to my camera. I actually had to move the radio closer to this microphone. It's on the floor right in front of me in order to get the signal to be halfway decent. So for use as a wireless microphone device, I can't really recommend it because it does not transmit far enough. I now want to test the pickup pattern on this mic. Right now I'm speaking directly into the capsule. Now I am side addressing the microphone and now I am speaking into the back of the capsule. Okay, I'm back on my trusty lavalier microphone. I have good news and bad news about the Supreme FM wireless microphone. The good news is that the capsule does seem to have directionality to it, uh, which is good for off-axis rejection, which helps prevent feedback. The bad news is it can only transmit for a couple of feet. Any more distance than that and you get bad hiss and interference. Now a real Mr. Microphone might perform better than this Supreme knockoff and if I manage to acquire one I'll definitely do an A-B comparison of the two products but uh, this was kind of fun to do. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons including two new patrons for supporting my channel and remember stay thrifty everyone.